Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline, Heirloom Vintage and Collectibles, and guess what? Day 7 of my Hallapalooza, and today it's about games people play. Now, the majority of what you're going to see today actually are items that I am keeping myself and I will be using them for my own personal use. Now, in a video that I'll be doing in the next couple of days, I will be showing some additional items, primarily children's books, and those will be put up for sale. So, if you are new to the channel, hi, hello, nice to meet you. If you are returning, thank you. Please consider subscribing if you are not already. So let's get on with it. I picked up this book. I think it was maybe at the Benz. Oh, yes, and I have a Benz haul to show you guys. I went to the Benz last week. They just opened up a new one in my area. And I'll show you the items that I uh, scavenged from there. And most of those will be for myself as well. But... Is still worth sharing with you. So I think this came from the bins and I brought it up with me because I thought it was a neat little book. It says kid chat but I do a lot of workshops and I thought it would be a good idea to use this as sort of an icebreaker whether it's for youth or adults. So um, I'm just going to read this number 19. I just flipped to it. Um, so it says, if, if instead of riding to school in a car or bus, you could be taken to and from school each day in an unusual vehicle or piece of machinery, what would you choose for your form of transportation? And then they give some examples, a tractor, trailer, bulldozer. So what I would do if I was doing this with adults, I would make it adult friendly. But that's that. And then again, this particular theme is games people play. So I thought I'd throw in a couple of booklet type things. This was a really cool piece. I do not remember where I got this book. Uh, probably either Goodwill or one of the other thrift stores. And this one has a bunch of crossword puzzles. And I thought I'd use this one, you know, to put like on a table if I have visitors or if I'm doing a workshop and it's for somebody to pass the time away. This here is really cool. It's a domino set. And I play dominoes on occasion, usually in family activities. But I got this cute set. It's in new, uh, new used, um, new old stock for the most part. And this little carrying case really was what I was interested in. Next, I have several types of playing cards. This is just a cute little set. Um, I may not be, I might not be keeping this just because I've picked up a several more playing card sets. So this will go somewhere. I'm not sure yet. Maybe gift it to one of the kids or something. It's got a cute little design on it. Thought those are cute. That's why I got them. This set of cards I will definitely be keeping. It says Souvenir of Florida and it's got, you know, the Florida um, little state on there. I thought those that was interesting. So I'll be keeping these cards. I may or may not open them to play them. We'll see. I just got another deck of cards from my cousin when I was traveling. And it's sort of some Detroit type cards. Those will probably be my everyday cards. And then this, I was like, well, this is a nice little tin. Now, of course, I won't be able to open it up. But just trust me and say that within this tin is a brand new deck of cards sealed in the packet. I won't be keeping these. I will be selling them at some point somewhere. So those are that. Uh, this I will not be keeping, but I thought it was really cool. They don't go for a ton of money, but it's just a neat little booklet set. They, there are many books in here. I thought the packaging was awesome. Again, these are listed uh, 
pretty frequently. Uh, the theme is I opened up one of them and read the books. And it's a neat little set for a child. So for the most part, I will be probably putting this up on... Um, on my ebay store which is heirloom vintage and collectible so consider checking it out i have not posted things yet i'm just opening the store been sitting on it for a while but please support it when it opens this is a clue i thought this was a neat game to have like when i have my grandson over he loved playing games shout out to malachi and here is a clue game eight years and plus he's nine and uh, I just have not played Clue before, Clue before, but I've seen it, and it's a game that I think I would enjoy. Here is a uh, game I got for only two bucks, and it's called Milwaukeeopoly. And of course, it's a version of Monopoly, but it's based on your city. These are still being sold today. Uh, I didn't have a Milwaukeeopoly game, and I think that'll be a fun game to play with my family. This particular, as you can see, I like Mil uh, Monopoly, and one of my display just fell. But this Monopoly is Lord of the Rings. I don't think I'm going to keep this one. Uh, I'm not a Lord of the Rings person. But I just thought maybe if it was in an interest, if my um, family members don't, you know, want to play this, then I will, um, I will consider like selling it. If it's popular, I have to look it up. And, you know, it's been used. Uh, I checked it out when I got it. Uh, all the pieces seem to be there. Again, I'm not a Lord of the Rings person, but I thought it was a neat game, so... I just decided I would keep it, and I would maybe consider playing it. I'm not sure yet. And then this one is called Ms. Monopoly. I did not thrift this game. It was gifted to me as part of a program I was doing. And, you know, I do workshops, and there's lots of things. Sometimes when we give out, like, incentives or gifts or things for, for people to participate, we like to give out games and things like that. So I was a part of a, a workshop or something, and they gave us a little gift bag, and this game was in there. I've already played this game with my grandson. He enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed it. I mean, it's Monopoly, but it's based on things that they say are uh, focused on women. So I thought it was a cool game. I'm going to keep this game, and I'm going to continue to play it. I'm always on the lookout for vintage games, but I haven't uh, put in a lot of energy like going strictly to the games and playing them. That is something I'll do in the future, and hopefully you'll join me there. So I'm going to end the video. You saw all of the wonderful games people play, some of them vintage, some of them not. And this is Jacqueline Heirloom Vintage and Collectibles. Subscribe. And we will see you on the other side.